this popped up and I thought it was so funny. Miles says, I'm hideous. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. What can I do? And it's hilarious because there's no mirror in Joseph's house. Hi friends, it's Sleepy. And we're playing the Ultimate Decades Challenge. We're with Joseph and Miles in Windenburg. And today is a big day. It's the first day of spring and Joseph is ready to go to the Edwards home to ask someone special for their hand in marriage. Today we will also be aging up Henry and Thomas. So hopefully we have good luck in everything we want to do today. Okay. Miles, you will have to take care of the shop today and handle what few orders we have on the weekend. It's Saturday. This is Miles' outfit when he has to work at the forge. Charming looking young man. And I don't know if you noticed, but Joseph grew a goatee. So we're gonna go do our half a day's journey to Henford on Bagley. Here we are at the Edwards household. Um, hopefully everyone's home. I'm gonna have to have a talk with Jack at some point. I mean, Jack has basically already given consent. It's good to see you, Shanna. Good to see you too. So. Hello, Jack. But it is Gia who I want to take a walk with. I feel like Gia is going to take this moment to tell Joseph, listen, I know what you asked me on this walk for. And I don't want you to ask me to marry you. And Joseph's gonna just be like, Why? Don't you like me? I don't know if I want to get married. I don't know if I want children. I just want to own myself. And if I'm married, I will never own myself. I mean, Joseph can't really argue with that. He's disappointed, that's for sure. You know, Jesus basically say, you should ask my sister. Shiana is ready to be married. I don't think I ever want to be married. And Joseph's just like, I don't want to marry your sister. I thought I might want this, but I don't. Shanna wants to do this. You should ask her. This isn't going to work out with Gia. I feel bad for Joseph. <sighs> you know what? Maybe they can be lifelong friends as in-laws. Technically, he didn't propose to her. So it's not like he proposed to two women in the same day. So maybe I should go get Shanna. So, this just stinks. <laughs> FYI, Shanna did win in the polls. Joseph is asking the blessing to marry Shanna. Shanna, why don't you come right over here? I have something to ask you in front of your family. Why is the music so beautiful? Dad in the back ruining the shot. Oh. Aww. She's so excited. Now, this couldn't be a prettier sight. That is a happy man. He turned his day right around. Hey, when someone doesn't want you, and someone else does, well, that made it easy. 
Oh, roses are red, violets are blue. I'm kind of... No, I'm not saying that. What about you? Yeah, we're not doing that before the wedding. But I'm glad she's just so ready to start making a family. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn her down. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is like an instant love. I know they did not have a romance bar before this proposal, but I needed him to be able to propose, so I cheated it up. But I think they are caught up in the excitement of this major milestone, this major goal in life. She definitely already had a crush being a wife, having children, she really wants that. Gia, not so much. She doesn't see that for herself. Joseph's going to respect that and go where he's wanted. If we're honest, they weren't that invested in each other. It wasn't that deep yet, but I think it's undeniable that there was something about Gia. I do think that's still very true, and I'm sure it will show itself again in the future. But for now, we're head over heels for this beautiful, sweet woman that is Shanna. All right, we are on the farm. Everyone's here. Oh, there they are. Oh, perfect. The birthday boys are right here. So. Let's begin with Henry, because if it's Thomas, it really blows up our spot. And I want to point out that in the event that Thomas dies, I do think that because William is alive and he's the heir, that the landlord will probably choose a new husband for Mary and let them continue to reside on this property. Um, she's still really young. I believe she's 22. She can have more children. As shitty as it might be for Mary, it's actually probably the best outcome for the family because they won't have to leave and they'll still be provided for. If Joseph hadn't just proposed, I might have arranged Joseph and Mary together. But that option's out of the question now. Uh, Thomas doesn't have any other brothers. So I'm going to start with Henry. Let's refresh on what Henry cannot roll. Put it over here. Okay. Henry cannot roll a 4 or an 8. Let's roll. Five. Henry is safe and ages up to a toddler. My god, okay. Let's see. Of course he's a charmer. Love that. And it's Thomas's turn. Let's do his roll. So for Thomas, it's... It's a lot worse odds for the rolls. I mentioned before I was looking at Sheik Sim's system. And let me look up what she did for adults. So right now Thomas is the equivalent of 32. So Morbid Gamer has... Her dice roll for adults set as less than 9 on a 20-sided dice. And Sheik Sims has it for just 5 or 10. I'm actually going to take recommendation for Elder is what I'm going to use. So Thomas cannot roll a 13, 15, or 19. And then I will roll a... 10 sided dice to determine how many years of adulthood he has left. 
just made it. 17, he becomes an adult. Now, let's see how many years left Thomas has. One year? He does a 33? I'm just trying to process this. Um, it seems too harsh, but in reality, anything could kill you back then. There was no antibiotics for infections. If you got a cut or a wound that became infected and your body couldn't fight it off, you died. Any number of things could happen that could lead to a young death. And even though 33 is solidly middle-aged in these times, it's it would be untime, untimely. I'm just going to let the family do their thing. William would still be a child. Mary would definitely have to be remarried. And what good, decent man is going to be chosen to go... I don't... Just to fill a spot, like, this is not going to be like some creme de la creme suitor for Mary. It has to be someone who doesn't care that he's getting someone else's entire family. And uh, obviously he's going to want to make sure he has his own son because if Mary gives birth to a son or her new husband, that would become the new heir. I'm not sure I'm very happy with that at all. I think I'm pretty distraught. Should we not go that direction? Should I change the rules of my own head? Maybe I could stay with William anyway. Like, why do I have to... I don't know why I feel like I have to just follow whoever is in control of this property. Uh, I could just keep it William and just follow wherever he goes in life. Or, you know, as a creator, I could just make sure Mary doesn't have a boy. Maybe that would be a nice, like the nicest way I could sort of try to control the narrative here, control our story. I'm attached to this family. I don't want to meet whoever this new guy is. Uh, maybe Mary will have fertility problems. There's been no signs of that so far, but you know, I, I control everything. Oh, new family dynamic. Thomas and Elizabeth, a supportive family dynamic. I love that. Of course, star dad. I'm going to take care of this family for a little bit off camera, get things in order, uh, clean up the mess, put everyone to bed, process that we have one year left with Thomas. And none of these folks know that. I'm going to leave it right here. Thank you so much for watching. We do have at least one exciting thing to look forward to. We get to plan a really small, humble wedding. I'll look forward to that at least. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Take care.